Are you confused about which quote style to use in your JavaScript code? You're not alone. Today, we're diving into the best practices for using quotes in ES6 and React. I totally get it. It can be frustrating to see different quote styles in the same code base. Many developers wonder if there's a right or wrong way to use single quotes, double quotes, or back ticks. You're definitely not the only one facing this dilemma. Here's the specific question we're addressing today. One user asked, which quote style is the best practice for ES6 in a JSX file? They mentioned that while all styles work, they are unsure which one to choose for consistency. Sound familiar? Let's explore this together. So what's the deal with quotes in JavaScript? While there's no functional difference between single and double quotes, the choice often comes down to team conventions or personal preference. Backticks, on the other hand, are great for template literals, especially when you need to embed expressions. And stick around. I have a surprising tip at the end that could change how you think about quotes in your code. To address the user's question about best practices for quotes in ES6 and JSX, we first need to understand the differences between single quotes, double quotes, and backticks. Single and double quotes are functionally equivalent in JavaScript. The choice between them often comes down to personal or team preference. However, consistency is key. Backticks, or template literals, are particularly useful for multi-line strings and string interpolation. They allow for embedding expressions directly within the string. In JSX, it's common to see double quotes used for attributes, while single quotes are often used for JavaScript strings. This helps avoid confusion and keeps the code clean. Ultimately, the user should choose a style guide that fits their team's needs. Popular style guides like Airbnb's JavaScript style guide recommend using single quotes for strings. Fun fact, did you know that the choice of quotes can actually affect the readability of your code? Consistency is key and it can make a big difference when collaborating with others. Now, let's look at the answers provided by other users. This user suggests using double quotes for string literals in JSX attributes. They recommend avoiding wrapping in expression blocks. For dynamic class names, they advise using the class names package instead of string concatenation. That's the end of that answer. Let's see another perspective. This user explains that single and double quotes are equivalent in JavaScript. They serve different use cases, like wrapping strings that contain quotes. However, backticks are preferred when you need to include variables within strings. Here's a pro tip. Choose one style for your project and stick with it. This will help maintain consistency and make your code easier to read for everyone involved. And there you have it. Now you know the best practices for using quotes in your JavaScript and React code. Remember, consistency is crucial. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe for more tips and tricks.